town that I grew up in, the land of smiles. And I'd like to read to you a blog post, um, a narrative that I wrote during my first week in South Africa. Um, we spent our first week in Johannesburg to get that historical background, that historical context. We visited a lot of museums. Every night, Erica Larson, our project director, who's in the crowd now, um, gave us a lot of time to, to reflect and to talk and be vulnerable, be, be, vulnerable, be open. Um, and within that space, um, I wrote this narrative down and I'd like to read it to you right now. We Vanderbilt students wearing face masks stand outside his home as Sister Rachel, a social worker from the Soweto Hospice, conducts her routine treatment. She injects canamycin into his arm and steps out with him by her side. The 43-year-old man, name omitted to protect privacy, diagnosed with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis and labeled as HIV positive, smiles when he glimpses us. Sister Rachel begins describing the man's condition to us. Her words, quote, no wife, windows closed, hot inside, perfect for infection, history of alcohol, transform this man into a patient before our eyes. Not a patient of medicine, but a patient of the cycle of poverty, the most devastating, family fragmenting, dehumanizing disease of all. And yet he still smiles. Not a reluctant smile, but a genuine heartfelt smile, powerful enough to make me smile back at him. But he can't see my smile. The face mask acts as a shield. We, Vanderbilt students maskless, board the flight to Johannesburg. On board my Delta Airlines Flight 200 from Atlanta to Johannesburg, I see white faces, ubiquitous among the passengers. Perhaps the most burdensome moment is the wait outside the lavatory, one's eyes fixed on occupied, ready for the instant that breaks the interlude, the sign flashing vacant. A passenger exits the lavatory, smiling at the one entering. We, Vanderbilt students maskless, step inside the craft unit of the Soweto Hospice with high energy and curiosity. The women become silent and lower their eyes toward their needlework, yet a smile inescapably slips into the corners of their rosy cheeks. Each thread of their needlework is so tirelessly sewn with care and tenderness, each bead of sweat an emblem of sacrifice. These women are the nuclei of love and hope. We smile back at them, but they don't see. A smile is an act of embrace, an attempt to say 